hello everyone welcome back to another train sim world 4 news video and it's an exciting day because just today we've had the release date announced for the london overground suffragette line you'll know this as the goblin lines if you've played uh, tsc and um it's been recently renamed as we'll see in the article to the, the london overground suffragette line in real life so um just recently the uh, the line in TSW4 was also renamed just to uh, just to follow suit with that. So, what is it all about? This is the Dutta Live article, um, which you will find a link to in the description below if you want to check this out yourself. But it says it's time to go overground on the latest London line to come to Trains in World. Get ready for an adventure adventure in Trains in World 4 London Overground Suffragette Line. Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside, arriving on the 19th of March. So not long to go, it's the 4th of March today, as this has been announced. So we've got a couple of weeks to go, so hopefully we'll start seeing this quite soon. But let's have a look at the route itself. Um, if I just make that a little bit bigger. So you can see that um, it is Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside. So you've got Gospel Oak over on this side. 13 stations in total ending in Barking Riverside down the bottom here. Now, if you have got the TSC version, you will remember that it only runs up to about this point, which is uh, which is Barking. And um, if you've not seen that route, if you don't own Train Sim Classic, you want to have a look at what this route looks like in uh, Train Sim Classic prior to it coming out and you're taking your first look on Train Sim World. I'll put a little link up in the top right hand corner to a run that I did a couple of weeks ago in Train Sim Classic from Gospel Oak down to Barking. So go and have a look at that, see what you think. Uh, now, the difference with the um, TSC version is that with that route, you got the class 172 and the class 378. Of course, with this one, you are getting the class 710. And again, we'll have a look at that shortly and read all about that but that is the route map so i think it i think it's 13 miles 13 stations if i remember correctly so it's not a long route um but it looks pretty exciting all the same i have to tell you i'm quite excited about this one but looking down the article as we see the screenshots that have been included 150 years in the making the gospel oak to barking line was happenstance constructed through the means of multiple companies building adjacent lines. As links, junctions and various termini were built and changed, this meandering route through no less than seven of North and East London's boroughs took shape as a vital strategic railway. And there's a picture of Barking Riverside there, which is looking very nice indeed, I must say. Once earmarked for closure and allowed to be run down into disarray, Transport for London took the line under their wing alongside other routes in 2007, when London Overground was launched to transform them into lines fit for the future. State of the art throughout the line from Gospel Oak is now an electrified high density passenger route, making use of the brand new Class 710 Aventura, while also still leaving space for freight as part of the National Rail Network. And, and then a little bit about the actual name change, which we talked about at the beginning. It says, having spent years with an avid community following, the route became affectionately known as the Goblin, which was a portmanteau of Gospel Oak to Barking Line. But from February 2024, it was announced that the route would be known as the Suffragette Line. As part of TfL's plans to name all of the London Overground routes to make the network easier for customers to navigate, once rebranding is complete later this year, it will be known as the Suffragette Line in recognition of how the early 20th century working class movement in the East End paved the way for women's rights, empowering women to have a significant impact on society in the past, present, and will continue to do so in the future. And a very glossy screen sh screenshot there. I'm assuming that is still Barking Riverside there. That looks very nice, the way that that is done with all the glass, etc. Um, again, I always say it with many of these routes, unlike Blackpool branches, uh, this isn't a, this is a route that I've not experienced um, in real life. Uh, I know some of you have from commenting on the TSC video that I put out about this, and um, 
I think there's been a mixed reaction to this one. A lot of you are looking forward to it, but some of you are saying it's a little bit too short or I don't know. It looks good from these screenshots, so I would say, you know, let's play it on the channel, have a good look at it, and then see what you think. Um, but um, as we skip through, I won't read all of it. Let's let's have a look at the, uh, the Class 710 itself. And it says, one of the latest trains in TFL's fleet comes to Trains in World in the form of the Class 710 Aventura, introduced in 2019, so they're pretty new, aren't they? These sleek and modern electric multiple units replaced older stock and have variants running under other operators throughout Greater London, including the Class 345 units on the Elizabeth line. Quick shot of the interior, which also is looking very, very clean, isn't it? I don't know. These are brand new units, so I don't know how clean they are in real life, but it looks very, very, uh, very brushed up, doesn't it, that one? Um... In the cab, the experience is very much dominated by the use of screens with no analog dials in sight. Players looking for the window blinds will need to find the button for it, as these are operated by a switch rather than by hand. Like the Thameslink Class 700 local add-on, the Class 710 supports dual voltage functionality for use on routes with third rail electricity in free roam. So that's quite nice. Um, let's talk about the services. So it mentions there's four trains per hour running along this line between Gospel Oak and Barking Riverside, resulting in 154 playable services for the Class 710, in and amongst a total of over a thousand services when factoring in the AI and layers from other pieces of content. Timekeeping will be important throughout each service run, as will stopping points with trains fitting snug into the length of some platforms. So there is freight on this line, and it mentions that it will be available to the vast majority of train sim world players as these will layer in from the East Coast mainline Class 66 and FKA wagons, though other Class 66 variants, including the ones from the most recently released gameplay packs, will be available to select for those that own that content. Additional freight using other forms of rolling stock will also layer in, such as those from Southeastern High Speed. So that is seeming to suggest that even though freight is in this DLC, it's layered in rather than being available with this. So if you don't own any other Class 66, which the 66 is available in so many in so many DLCs, isn't it? I'm going to assume that everybody has got a Class 66 somewhere. I could be wrong. There's a lot of them about, isn't there? But it, it seems to suggest that it layers in rather than it being included with the DLC, but I could be wrong, we'll need to check on that. Other playable services include the Railhead Treatment Train from the Train Sim World Compatible Local Add-on Bundle, as well as both Diesel and Steam Rail Tour services from other Train Sim World route add-ons. So we've got Steam as well. Um, it talks about um, where the line crosses the East Coast Main Line, you will see the Azuma in the form of AI traffic. Uh, you will see the Thameslink Class 700, the Flying Scotsman, which will be nice, won't it, seeing that go past, and the 1938 Underground stock um, for players with that content. Some sneaky Easter egg AI services that you'll need to find for yourself. Don't know what they could be. Some of you that know this area and this route can probably already guess what they're going to be. So let me know in the comments below if you've got an idea on that one. Uh, what else can I tell you? Well, the price. Always interested in the price. And it seems to be that the price is um, a little bit less than normal. Is that a reflection of the length of the route, perhaps? But it is, it is telling us there that it's available 19th for March for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Epic Game Store and Steam for, if you're in the UK, $24.99. So it, usually these routes are $29.99, aren't they? So there is a little bit of a discount there on this one. Uh, Euros, $29.99 and dollars, $29.99. And there will be a preview on March the 14th, so in 10 days' time, on the Railfan TV, so that's Dovetails Channels, Twitch and YouTube at 1900 hours UTC. So that's going to be the first time we get to have a proper look at it. Um, I don't know. What do you think? 
I the the shortness of the route doesn't really bother me um, because you know we've had shorter routes before and players have, have you know wondered you know, what is the point of a short route but actually you know it, it's the quality of the route that counts isn't it as well um, the short surfaces I will tell you from uh, from playing the TSC version there's a lot of stopping and starting between those stations let me just bring up the map once more the, the stations are quite close together. There isn't an opportunity to really get up to speed on the TSC version between stations. So that's one thing. If you're not a fan of very stop-start services, then this one might not be for you. But uh, you might be surprised. There could be something there that you uh, that you like. Because the Glossop line in particular was one that I was thinking of that initially when it was announced, a lot of players were saying, oh, it's a very short route and, you know, I don't know about this one, but you know, it's one of the it's one of the more popular routes. It was really received very, very well, that gossip line. So this one, if this if this one's as good as a gossip line, then again, I think this one will do quite well. But it doesn't really matter what I think. What do you think? Leave me a comment. Are you gonna pick this up day one? Wait for a sale, have a look at it first and make your mind up. We will be playing it on the channel as part of the Dovetail Ambassador program. So there will be an opportunity to come back here. If you're already subscribed, you'll see that. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and joining the team. But we will be playing it. We'll try and get early access as we usually do, probably for about a day before it releases. So it releases on the 19th. We can probably play it from the 18th. So um, we'll do the usual with the route and we'll, uh, we'll do a live and we'll have a look at it together. So join me for that. But do leave me a comment, leave me a like if you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one. Take care everybody, bye for now.